All right, guys, we're gonna make some nice red bean paste mooncakes. It's actually a very easy recipe because it doesn't need too much ingredients. The tools are gonna shape the mooncakes as you want, either with a square, traditional shape, or maybe even round shapes. And you can choose the carta inside with your best wishes. So you're probably thinking, what about in the past? They're actually using something more similar to these. Pieces of wood with some carvings on, and these carvings are actually telling some wishes. In this case, oh, so it means happiness, prosperity. Let's introduce some nice ingredients here. Some red beans, some peanut oil, you can use some flour oil as well, some cornstarch, and some granulated sugar. Water for soaking the ingredients, some water on spray, just to give a little extra shiny touch to our mooncakes while baking. It's actually water, but it's called lye water. And it's also known as kan sui, or maybe in Chinese as jian shui. And it is an alkaline solution that is made from sodium carbonate and potassium carbonate. And it really adds the shining yellow color into the final dough. The main ingredient, baking flour. Of course, low gluten flour. We wanna have a very nice smooth paste. The golden syrup, and it has a definitely deeper aroma as compared to other sugar solution. You're gonna be soaking them overnight. 240 gram of syrup, six gram of the light water, 300 gram of baking flour, So imagine this to be your whoever you really, really care about and now just massage it very nicely. So once you get something like this, very shiny, nice and smooth dough, it is time for this thing to sleep a little bit. Yeah, I don't know where the extra piece came from, but it's gone. Yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. All right, so we're switching on the heat and let's go with the red beans inside. And you're gonna add some water. Bring these red beans to a boil and let's cook them for about an hour. We're gonna place them inside because we wanna have the extra texture given by these full and nice beans. 150 grams of sugar, adding the oil as well. 150 mild sugar at the very end of this cooking process. So we're adding the starch here. So let's prepare the filling and the pastry of our mooncakes. Final step, we've taken 30 grams of this dough and we're actually gonna work it out into a nice little bowl. Just easily pour a little bit of the starch. So let's not forget our bean paste. We're gonna need 60 grams, okay. Gonna gently push the red bean paste inside. You want to put a little bit of starch on the top of here. You want to use the mold, put a little bit of starch in here as well, just like this. Wow! Look how beautiful this is. Nice, beautiful little mooncake. All right, guys, so we are at the very end of our video. We are about to try our mooncakes. I think that the big problem was that you really want to stay close to your oven. You don't want to run the baking and, you know, the cooking for too long. It's going to ruin your mooncakes, as we've probably done with some of these as well. The other thing is that once you go ahead with brushing the egg yolk onto the mooncakes, you don't have to be too generous with that because it's going to give you a yellow color that you don't really want. You want to still stick with the golden color, something like this. Mmm, I can actually feel the inside part. It's very dense. Yeah, so it's very nice to see, as compared to the ones that we had before, also the the whole beans inside the red bean paste. So I don't know if you remember, we kept some of the beans aside and we added them into the paste at the later stage. So we still have some of the beans that are coming up here 
in the paste. Beautiful. It gives you that kind of texture that is different from, you know, the paste because it's still full bodied bean, I would say. So I like it very much because I think as compared to the mooncakes that we tried before, it's definitely less sweet. So it has that kind of, you know, more balanced uh, flavor. No fucking way. We're going to make it this time. I gently push the red bean paste inside. Okay guys, I think this time we really made it. Look at the carvings on top, beautiful. Second trial, I think we did made it right this time. Look at these beautiful mooncakes. So what does it take to make good mooncakes? It just takes a couple of trials and lots of love and passion. I'm going to share with friends, family. I'm going to put in some nice small packets. And now the moment of the truth. Look how beautiful this is, you know? And the pastry is not too thick this time. The red bean paste is nice, you know, scattered evenly. That's a 10. Please do be creative with Mooncake. Mooncakes is a concert. Mooncakes is part of a big festival. Family matters, where gatherings matters. Do get fun, do get creative. Put anything you want in Mooncakes. Go with lasagna Mooncakes. Compound Mooncakes? Well, you know, that could be good. But anyway, let us know how you did with the mooncakes. We're gonna put the recipe in our description as usual. And please do not forget to subscribe to our channel, put us a like, share it with friends and family like you're gonna do with the mooncakes, okay? So, 